Hey, what's up guys? Jake here with Success Motors and I'm trying to answer the question, can you actually live with a Ford Excursion? They're awesome, they look cool, they sound, they sound cool, they're very functional on paper, but can you actually live with and daily drive a 2005 or 2000, 2005 Ford Excursion? And that is what this video series has really been about. I've been selling nothing but excursions for 18 months now, uh, but I've actually been daily driving this one for about six weeks. I've put about 1,500 miles on it, and I'm going to do a little update here today. If you haven't caught the other videos in this series, I believe there's four or five of them, you got to check out the channel and see those uh, as I've gone through everything we've done to this truck. But anyway, stay tuned here, and I'm going to give you my impression about whether you can actually live with a Ford Excursion. Well, as I said in the intro, I have been daily driving and living with this Ford Excursion for, I think it's been about six weeks now. And on average, I drive probably about 400 miles a week. That's just kind of my typical. So I've been driving this thing seven days a week. I've been taking it to the gym. I've been taking it to church. I've been taking it to the grocery store. I've been taking it everywhere that I go. And just a, a quick summary would be, I believe you can absolutely live with and daily drive and be happy about it, uh, a Ford Excursion. And again, you got to go catch some of the other videos. I've, I've done a lot of things like MPG, et cetera, et cetera. One of the things that I hadn't done until recently, until this week, I hadn't towed with this excursion. And I'm sorry I didn't actually film any of that, but... I did tow a trailer. It wasn't a crazy trailer. It was like a, it was an enclosed trailer, dual axle, 16 feet long, V nose in the front. And we had it full with a couple hundred pounds. I think it was actually ended up being 600 pounds of cardboard, believe it or not. And I took it to the dump. So all in all, truck, when I got on the scale, truck and trailer, I weighed 12,060 pounds. So I would say this truck probably uh, without trailer weighs somewhere in the ballpark of eight. So my best guess is I was towing around 4,000 pounds. And so many of you guys are, are like me. You need something that will do everything that'll, that'll, that can tow, that can haul the kids around, that you can daily drive and, and all those things. So will it perform well in all of those areas? So I'm happy to inform you that I was so pleasantly surprised when towing again it wasn't like super heavy by any means i have yet to hook up over ten thousand pounds like i typically do but it towed uh, that four thousand pound trailer like it was absolutely nothing all the gauges on the inside edge monitor were exactly what they should be trans temp was around 160 uh the delta between oil temp and coolant temp was never any more than 15 degrees um, the EGTs were were no more than they typically are unweighted, and man, it was just phenomenal. And I did put it in tow haul, and it you know it, it definitely changed the uh, the shift points on the truck, and it was m very much so for the better. Um, also, so when I took that thing out to the dump, uh, the dump is actually like a dirt road, kind of off roady. Um, had to go up a hill. I really, I filmed, I kind of filmed me doing it, but it just didn't come out very good. Um, and I'm just happy to report that the truck did extremely, extremely good. So very pleased. So can you tow with an excursion? Yes, you can tow with an excursion. Uh, again, I haven't towed over, usually we're towing like 10,000 pounds when I'm going to pick up these excursions. I haven't had the chance to do that yet. And I'm a little nervous about that much weight. Uh, but I will do it and see what happens. Um, also, for me, um, can you use a Ford Excursion as a truck? Because I, I am often carrying stuff uh, in the bed of a truck. And so what I did is I took the third row seat out. And you can actually see I got a new JL sub for this thing. Kind of cool. I haven't, uh, I don't think I've shown you guys that. But I took the third row seat out. And I don't know if it comes across on the, on the, uh, the video. But that's a really big space. So, so far... I've been able to carry four wheels back there. So I I went and picked up a stock set of uh, Super Duty 20s and I was able to put four of them back there. So no tire, just wheel. And I was able to put all four back there. Um, I have also carried to our upholstery guy um, a box of material and then two front seats back there. So that fit. Um, so I haven't run into any issues so far. And just to remind some of you who haven't been watching the channel, I'm coming from a 2018 Ford F-250 with a camper shell. 
And I and that one also has the decked bed system in it, by the way. Um, I haven't felt like I've been at a, a loss of space at all. And I feel like this has been able to do to do everything. So I've been able to tow with it. Uh, I've been able to haul stuff with it. Uh, granted, if it was, for me, it's working. Uh, if you're carrying something more than that or a load that you wouldn't want inside, you know, maybe keep that in mind. Um, and then, you know, can you carry your kids around in it? Yes, you can. So my son is seven and he loves riding with me in this thing. So I've got his car seat in here. And one thing to note is these older excursions, they don't have the little metal doohickey, uh, whatever you call that, built into the seat. So you have to use the seat belt, which that's okay. I was able to get a really solid fit with his car seat, um, even just using that. And he's got a ton of space back here. Um, I've got one other kid and one on the way. And my daughter doesn't really prefer, uh, well, that's not true. My, my daughter doesn't prefer hanging out with me too much. She's only four. So she hasn't come with me anywhere, but she could totally fit. So I'm sitting in the back row right now. She could totally fit here. And then if we're going on a trip, I could move my son back to the third row. And then we could put our one that's on the way right there. And this would work just well. So can you tow? Yes. Can you haul? Yes. Can you take your kids with you? Yes. And then can you daily drive it? Yeah. Heck yeah, man. I've been enjoying, I've just been enjoying it. I've had a lot of vehicles in my day. I've driven a lot of cars, a lot of trucks. Uh, I don't like to drive anything boring. I've never driven, I've never driven anything boring. Um, I like things that are loud, things that are fast, things that look cool, things that are unique. That's kind of my bend. That's probably the bend of a lot of you guys. And I have just thoroughly enjoyed this Ford Excursion. And I've said it before, one of the things I like about it is there's not another one in College Station quite like this one. Um, and there's really only a handful of excursions in general in College Station, which is the city that I live in. Um, but as far as daily driving it, parking it in a parking spot, very easy to do. The turning radius is very, very adequate. Um, it's not any larger than a modern SUV or, or any larger than a truck. Um, it's the AC blows cold on this one as it should. Anyone that you buy the AC, I mean, it should be very comfortable. The creature comforts in this thing are as good as you can expect. Does it have all of the amenities of like a brand new navigator like we just bought my wife? No. Uh, but does it have enough creature comforts to be comfortable? Yes. Heck yeah. Uh, stereo in this one sounds phenomenal. Cruise control works. You know, the AC is cold. What else could you need? It's very comfortable. It's a very comfortable place to drive. Also, sorry for my hand there. Big fan of the of the just the driving compartment or the drive the driver's positioning in the seat and whatnot on these Ford excursions you'll notice with mine I've got my whole situation set up pretty well there where I've, I'm rocking usually my Stanley my Stanley is kind of going in this cup holder and then actually I use the hydro jug but it looks the same and then I've got my Alani up there got my wallet over there man I've just got everything that I need the actual driving position and whatnot is so so comfortable um, I had a friend with me when we were going out to the dump and he had plenty of space. He's probably 5'10", um, and he had plenty of space right here in the, in the passenger seat. And then somebody could have been sitting behind him. Very adequate space. And I just really haven't had any, any, I don't have any negative things to say about a Ford Excursion. Again, if you can deal with not having quite as many amenities, uh, but still plenty, Keep in mind, this was the top of the line back in 2005. This was 50 or 60 grand back in 2005. Um, so if you're all right with not having all the amenities, man, you'd be happy as a bug in a rug driving a Ford Excursion. Could your wife drive one? Absolutely. Um, and your kids could be comfortable in it. I mean, just it does it does everything. I haven't encountered anything that it doesn't do well. And then as far as miles per gallon, you got to check out my last video. I did an MPG update, um, but I'm averaging... The I'm averaging 11 and a half miles per gallon in this excursion. Now that's not a true representation of all excursions because this one has a built motor and it just doesn't get as good of gas mileage as one that doesn't have that. But I'm getting 11 and a half in this one and then towing, it actually brought my average down to about 10 and a half. So I towed that 4,000 pound trailer, maybe a total of, I don't know, 50 to 100 miles probably not 100 somewhere in the ballpark of 50 to 100 miles and it brought the whole average for that tank down to 10 and a half so definitely not very good gas mileage towing but about 11 and a half miles per gallon is what i'm averaging city completely city this thing has not gone on a highway journey yet with me so i'm averaging completely uh city city driving about 10 i mean 11 and a half miles per gallon so 
anyway, I'm going to wrap this thing up so it's not too long, but man, if you're just, if you're on the fence about whether you can daily drive and live with a Ford excursion, I am happy to tell you, yes, you can absolutely daily drive and live with a Ford excursion. It has towed well, it hauls well, it carries my kids well. Uh, I can daily drive it to the gym, to the church, to everywhere that I go. And uh, it's just very, very comfortable. And the last thing I would say also, just worth noting, is I've been very impressed with the Bilstein 5100 shocks. And I've been very impressed with the BF Goodrich KO2s in which I have aired down to 48 pounds. Uh, they do a great job. They absorb a lot of the impact and a lot of the harshness that I was experiencing in this truck specifically uh, that has gone away. Uh, there are certainly excursions that we even have right now that ride better than this one. Um, so this one is just a little bit of an anomaly. I'm not sure why it doesn't ride as good as some of the others, but lowering the tire pressure and, and those new Bilsteins has certainly helped. But anyway, hopefully you guys find this video helpful. Again, I'm Jake with Success Motors down in College Station. We basically only sell Ford excursions. I think we lead the nation in excursion sales by volume. I appreciate all of you guys for your comments and your likes and your subscriptions. Um, I also, you guys would be blown away about how many calls I get in a given day. Um, it's just insane about how many people are interested in Ford excursions. But if you need one, if you're looking for, if you're if you're buying one, check out uh, our website, successmotors.net. And also, if you're selling a Ford excursion, uh, we'd be happy to buy it. It's got to be rust-free. It's got to be accident-free. It's got to be a clean truck for me to consider it. But if you got one that uh, is all of those things, let me know, and I'd probably be happy to buy your excursion from you. And then I guess lastly, you guys, stay tuned. Uh, we should have we should have five or six excursions hitting next week and the week after. Have some really nice trucks, and we went the extra mile with all of them, which is why it's taken a while to get them listed. All of them got motor work done. Um, none of which needed it. It all was preventative. And just because I think you guys prefer to buy the Sixos that have been bulletproofed. Um, we've got one. Uh, the big green one is getting a new wrap. It's going to look phenomenal because we had a little bit of stuff on the roof that we needed to fix. And then what else? Oh, we got one getting a complete new paint job, complete paint job, a $10,000 paint job. I told them to fix every dent, every scratch, everything. They're sanding it down and they're doing a full paint job. So anyway, have some really nice trucks about to hit the market. Stay tuned, you guys. And as always, if you have any questions, let me know. You can call me, email me, leave a comment here. But God bless you guys. Have a great Easter and I'll see you soon.